Before I begin to expound on the word of God, just give honor to the angels of this house, Elder and Pastor Jet. Pastor Amen. Jet in her absence, Elder Jet, thank God for the invitation. I do not take it for granted, the opportunity um, that I'm here. So come on, let's give the angels of this house a hand, everybody. Thank God for this Amen. Amen. You know, um, this is when I received the invitation. I said to myself, I said, this is right down my line when you talk about praise because my life has been a life of praise <laughs> through adversity, through adversity, through trials, through trust, tribulations, through joy, through peace, wherever it may, through the Amen. blessings of God. Amen. And so some of the things I want to share with you all tonight um, as we're talking about praising him through adversity, I want to give it a subtitle, and that is The Foundations of a VIP. The Foundations, and y'all know what VIP stands for, right? Mm -hmm. Very important person. Mm -hmm. But in this instance, we're talking about vic victorious, intense praise. Okay. Right. Victorious, intense praise. Praise. Come on, come so the VIP you want to hold on to is what? Victorious intense praise. praise. Amen. I want y'all, if you would, there's some things that I want to expound to you all and, and share with you what the Holy Spirit was sharing with me. Amen. And these particular things, when we talk about in victorious intense praise, we're talking about some found, the foundational truths. One of the first foundational truths, and, and you all, I'm a teacher by nature, and so I hope that y'all taking copious notes. You got your pen and your paper. I don't care if I'm whooping, whooping or uh, preaching. I still will teach so that when you go away from here, amen, you can use it later. Amen? Amen. amen. A lot of times we get so excited in the word, and we, you know, we're charged up, and then somebody asks you, well, what did he preach about? I don't know, but it sure was good. Right. <laughs> Wrong answer. Right. You should be able to tell them right. what the preacher was preaching about Amen. so that they can be what? Encouraged. You said, heard Minister Fess earlier when he was talking about it's not just for you, it's for somebody else. Yeah. So the trials, the test, testimonies that you're going through is for somebody else. So the first thing I want to share with you, when we begin to look at adversity, again, I, as at the same time, you know, it's kind of amazing because the word is confirming, you know, from Minister Fast. And we came from um, James 1, saying, I have it on here, you all. And then our brother was talking about blind Barnabas. And, and so about the name is so important. But the first thing I want to share with you is this. In reference to adverse praising him, in adversity. The important thing for us to know is that we should live a lifestyle of praise. Amen. So when adversity comes, your praise will shatter the adverse yes. moment. Yes. Okay. Let me say that again. Uh -huh. Live a lifestyle of praise. So when adversity comes, uh -huh. your praise will shatter the adverse moment. Yeah. A lot of times we want to get ourselves and, you know, we want to praise, you know, get to the church. I, if I could just make it to the church. Yeah. No, you should be already praising them so that when on, you man. get to the church, you just ignite. Come you on. just yeah. flame. You just explode. And everybody's like, what's wrong with them? Well, what got in them? Jesus got in them. Oh, Amen. Man. What, what, I, I heard the sister early. She was like, you know, where's everybody at? You know, why aren't we, why aren't we praising? So she came on fire, right? She's already ignited, ready, amen, to praise God. And so yes. we too, we have to, amen, live a lifestyle of praise. Yes. When right. should we praise God? The word of God tells us in Psalms 64 and 1, 
bless the Lord at all times. When should we praise him? All times. At all times. Should we praise him when we're just going through? No. Should we praise him when we're just having a great time? No. Should we praise him when, you know, God has blessed us abundantly? No. no we should praise him at what? All, all times. Time. Bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall do what? Continually be in my mouth. Point number two. Your praise is a Thank you. Somebody got your praise is a weapon. Yeah. And should be handled as such. Yeah. The question is, how are you carrying your weapon? How are you carrying your weapon? Are you wasting your bullets? <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on now. Today I had an experience. I was actually at my job in off of Georgetown. And you know, I was working and all of a sudden. We heard this pow, 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 pow. You'll see it on the news tonight. But it was about 15 to 20 gunshots that went off. And the question that y'all may think, you, you know, you shouldn't be having a gun anyway. But the question is, was that person wasting their bullets? Should they use that gun to protect themselves at home and not trying to kill someone, right? Are they using their weapon the right way? Yeah. And the question is, are you using your weapon the right way? Yeah. Amen. Listen here. It says, how are you carrying your weapons? Weapons, of the weapons of our warfare are what? Not are not carnal, but they're what? Mighty, Mighty through, God. through God to the what? Pulling to down. the pulling down. Everybody say pulling down. Pulling down. To the pulling down of what? Strongholds. Think about the strongholds in your life. You, and so if there are some strongholds in your life, the important thing for you to do is to praise God in that particular area in which you need to pull the strongholds down. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Point three. Praise should be done in faith and with all your soul. Uh -huh. yeah. I, I, I'm tempted to say this, but I won't. I already said it. <laughs> I'm tempted to say, you know, if you can't praise God with all of your might, then don't praise him at all. But actually, that's not truth. Right? right. Because it says we should praise and win all at time. all times. Amen. So when we're going through, amen, yes, we're struggling. We get to the house of God and, yeah. and, and we're like, God, you know, I'm not giving you a 100%. Yeah. But Lord, take whatever I have. Amen. And when you get, amen, when you give God what you have, all that you have, amen, God is able to recharge you. Right. Yeah, amen. Right. God is able that's to right. strengthen you. And that's what we call a sacrifice, Minister Fess said, a sacrifice of praise. Yeah. Amen. We know we should be praising him to the utmost, amen, with 100%. But God, I'm weak right now. God, I need your strength. God, I'm mourning right now. God, I'm going through, God. God, I don't know my finances, Lord God. I'm not lacking right now. But God, I'm still going to give you the praise. Hallelujah. So we praise God with all of our soul, with all of our might. Hallelujah. So what does it say? Psalms 103 says, bless the Lord, oh my what? Oh, my soul. That means with everything that is in you. It says, and all that what? Is within me. Is within me. Yes. Bless what? His holy name. Yes. Amen. So when we begin to bless God with all that is in us, amen, yes. God begins to do something. Amen. Hallelujah. Number yes. four. Number four. Praise will give you supernatural strength. Yes. Praise will give you supernatural strength. Yes. Don't minimize its power. Amen. Let me say that again. Praise mm -hmm. will give you supernatural strength. Yes. Don't minimize its power. Mm 